Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashion Nation. Anyway, as you saw in the thumbnail, I was holding some pizza. But not just any kind of pizza. Oh my gosh. Um, it is my recipe for a homemade taco pizza. Oh my gosh. I am so glad being under the um, poverty level that I can feed myself something that tastes so fantabulous <coughs> and tastes like five star, right? Tastes like something from a five star restaurant. Like you go into the Mexican restaurants and they have like the most delicious homemade tamale and or they have the homemade tacos oh my gosh i think this has this be um i made my own hot sauce with this i didn't use the oil to make it i did use some butter but I made it for like a couple of maybe two and a half pat of unsalted butter I made everything and then I used tomato paste with some yellow curry and some garlic and I'm sorry my throat's all bleh today hold on anyway and with some fresh cracked pepper and I really don't know what's going on with my voice all the my sinuses are clear. <sighs> so yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's like scratchy voice. That should be a little better. Anyway, I feel like I'm like a little nasally right now. I even added into the sauce um, a little... Um, extra spices and what I mean by that is not just the fresh cracked pepper the um I know you're gonna think this is weird I added horseradish into my sauce with some balsamic vinegar and I'm telling you add that balsamic vinegar in there oh my gosh the flavor the abundance of flavor that comes out because I also added some uh, black chili bean and um, look, when I put all this together and I laid out like my masa dough, I made it a little extra wet. So it kind of lays out like an empanada. Out, out on the uh, pan. Right, then I put it in the oven for about a good, I would say like nine, ten minutes in the oven on 400. And uh, when I did that, I put some, just rubbed some garlic and uh, some garlic, some garlic and some tomato paste just right on it. Not too much tomato paste I would say maybe a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste right on the uh, dough mmm let that be big mm. this is so delicious oh my god mmm okay because then I cooked some ground pork um when I did that added some liquid smoke a little bit of water to let it steam which is my thing I just kind of let my meat steam it's healthier I spray the pan I don't put oil in there um but that's just me I don't I don't really like to cook with oil 
it's not good for your arteries. Um, and I can't stop eating this. This is so delicious. And then I let that cook for a little bit, right? Then I added in, I would say maybe a teaspoon of yellow curry. And a couple of twists of the fresh cracked pepper. And then that's, you know, when I added the water. But this is so good. Um, if you're not really used to like spices, like uh, spicy things, like paprika, cayenne pepper, which I did add some cayenne into this for a little, you know, spicy, spicy. I'm a spicy person. I'm a spicy person. Single, but I'm spicy. I can cook food from other countries, but I'm single. <laughs> That's right. Um, and oh my gosh, I can make a house smell so good. Um, love for my friend to be able to eat this. His wife will get so mad. Okay. Anyway, so when I pulled that dough from the oven for like one pre-bake for nine to ten minutes, I pulled it and then I put a layer, this is thin layer of shredded cheese. Then I added my meat with the cheese. I mean not meat with the cheese, my meat with the beans the, with the homemade sauce. Because I did make a homemade hot sauce out of like the meat and the beans. Um, because I added in the tomato paste, you know, the tomato paste, tomato, tomato, however you say it. Um, and then of course to render down, you add a little more water if you have more. Um, of course. Um, so I laid that out on the dough. It was just enough. It was so perfect. And it, the smell was so beautiful. Then I added the rest of the cheese. <laughs> oh my gosh. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. That's all it took. And, uh, and then butamous flavor. Now, the first two slices, these are, these are healthy number two. Two slices are healthy number two. But they're not super thick. They're not super thick slices. So, mm. I'm not even going to excuse myself for like licking my finger. I know Shane Dawson cannot stand that sound, but you know, like, Rylan, <laughs> have a recipe for you, Rylan. Um, oh my gosh, heck yeah, I would have, I would suggest this to Rylan. If you like Taco Bell, you'd like this better. Um, Heck yes, this has Taco Bell beef. This has uh, any of those mom and pop restaurants. I need to use my lighting, flashlight in here. 
it's just too dark in here. It's really a dank day out. Anyway, there we go. Um, oh, this is such flavorful food. Now you can see it better. Don't be a, a hater, be a food appreciator. There you go, just ate. <laughs> That's what you need to see. Don't be a hater, be a food appreciator. <sighs> Especially when people make it from scratch, you know, um, like the uh, dough, I would say is three cups of the masa flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, and then just add water until your dough is consistent with just being like a nice, firm, wet dough but not dry and not overly wet. Just enough to work with. And you get, and you get this beautiful, this really mm, tasty, on a budget. Anybody can make this. You can buy the corn masa at the dollar store, no joke. You can buy your black beans at the dollar store, your tomato paste at the dollar store. You can take, <clears throat> you can take your sheet pan, which is what I did, and make at least, I'm starting to get full anyway, make at least, and if you see like right back here, I'm letting this cool off, but the kitten was trying to get to it. Titten was trying to get to this. You know, Titten is the, the cat that we call Titten, but he thinks he's a dog. He was trying to get to this. So, this is like three more days worth of food. So, I had to bring it in here to let it cool off. Otherwise, he'll get to it. So, um, yeah, try this recipe. Oh my God. <clears throat> um, yeah. Um, like I said, this is just a very simple recipe for the masa, which is three cups of masa flour. Um, two teaspoons of baking soda and water. I mean, this is almost like making Native, eh, Native American fry bread. It's just about as simple. Uh, then it's baked in the oven. The only other thing that I did put in it, and that's why it's yellow, is I did put yellow curry in here. For the dough. I do do that, excuse me, to give us some extra flavor. Um, and some parsley. And I'm adding these things in because it really helps my arthritis so that my hands don't hurt like they usually do. So yeah, really think about that. Um, So yeah, I mean, really, really think about this. Like I said, then you take um, ground pork, cook that down, and it's like, it's really flavorful. It's really good. Just give it a try. Let's go back and see what I said. And then meanwhile, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I'm still not apologizing for the background noise because guess what? I was making this video before the background noise walked in. <laughs> That's right. But like I said, try this, and it's actually pretty healthy. Because you get uh, different, 
nutritional factors out of this particular food. You get nutrition out of this. You have your bean proteins and iron. Okay, you have your dairy proteins. And you do have your meat proteins out of this. So you can use whatever proteins. If I would have had the vegetables that I wanted, I would have slapped some spinach on here. Oh my gosh, yeah. There's just so many things you can do with this. There's so many healthy possibilities to do with this. It, it's wonderful. Excuse me. So I will see you guys on the next one.